A predicate in C-sharp is also a delegate like func and action delegates. But a predicate delegate method must take one input parameter and return a bool value. So either true or false. So let us go to Visual Studio and see some predicate examples. Before we test the predicates, let us create two bool methods which take only one parameter because we said that predicates can be used only with methods that return a bool value and take only one parameter. So in here I'll write static bool is even. It takes as a parameter an integer, so int number, and it returns if a number is positive. So the modulus with two is equal to the zero. Let us create another method as well. So let us write in here static bool is lowercase. It takes as a parameter a string, so string text, and then it checks if this string is lowercase or not. So it will simply return if the text is equal to the same text in lowercase, so to lower. If you want to shorten these methods, you can simply remove the return part. So goes to, and then remove this one. In here, goes to as well. So this way, and that's all. Now let us go inside the main method, and in here write a predicate which takes as a parameter an integer, and then is even is the name which references to the is even method. If you want to test it, you can just write in here console dot write line, and then is even predicate which takes as a parameter a number of type integer. So we write in here five and we expect as a result false. So control F5 and here we have false. Let us test the other predicates. So for that we just write in here predicate and then now it will take as a parameter a string data type and we write in here is lowercase is equal to and it references to the is lowercase method. If you want to test it, the same way we write in here console.write line and then is lowercase, we pass as a parameter a string. So this is a lowercase string. Control F5 and we see that the result is true. If we change the value, so let us change the is even to 6, so now we expect a true. And then is lowercase, we change it here to this is not a lowercase string and then control F5. Now we have a true and a false response. The predicates, the same like func and action, can be used with anonymous methods and lambda expressions. So let us change the actual references to the methods to an anonymous method and a lambda expression. So let us start with the first one and here let us create an anonymous method. For that we need to use the delegate keyword. So delegate, we need to pass as a parameter an integer, so int number, and then in here we need to return, so we need to return in here, if the number with module of 2 is equal to 0. Now let us go to the other predicate and change it to a lambda expression, so for that we write in here s, so which stands for a string, that goes to s dot equals s dot to lower. Control F5 to see the result, and here we have the true and the false, the same like when we were using the methods. 